In this video, we are going to tell you how you can set up the Visual Studio Code for C programming language. So the first thing that you need to do is open up a command prompt by clicking on the start menu button and then typing in CMD. Within the command prompt, you are going to write the following command which is the GCC dash dash version. Now you need to make sure that GCC compiler is installed on your computer machine and this command is the way of telling whether GCC is installed on your machine or not. If you are missing GCC compiler, then the first thing that you need to do is install a GCC compiler and for that, you can click the link in the description which will take you to a MinGW installer. But this video is focused on Visual Studio Code, so we are going to open up code. So open up Visual Studio Code and in here, what you are going to do is that you are going to head over to extensions. In extensions, you are going to search for C and C++. This is the extension that you need to install. However, what I like to work with is the extension pack. This extension pack includes the basic IntelliSense along with other software that help you better syntax or better format your code or some code snippets that you can auto complete by clicking on the tab button. So I really like this extension pack so I'm going to install the extension pack. So just simply wait for a few moments for this extension pack to completely install on your system. Now that the extension pack has successfully installed we need to install another extension that is the code runner. So simply search for code runner and this is the extension that you're going to install. Click on install and you're almost ready to start running C programs but there is a slight change in the settings that you have to do to make sure everything runs perfectly. So next up you're going to go to files, preferences and open up settings. Let me just maximize my Visual Studio code and from the explorer you're going to select extensions, scroll down, go to run code configuration and then scroll down even more and you have to turn on this option that says run in terminal. So simply click on it. Now you are good to go. So what you want to do now is that you want to create a new file. So for that I'm going to open up a new folder, simply going to select my desktop folder, create a new file, I'm going to call it demo.c. In this file, I'm going to write some basic code and then I can run the code by clicking on this little play icon or by right clicking on the code editor and clicking on this option that says run code. My code would execute in the terminal and there you go, that is the output of my code. So that is it on how to set up Visual Studio code for developing and running C programs.